I created a, a graduate elective called Race, Power, Privilege, and Health. Um, that last semester, last fall, was the first time I taught it. Um, and that was sort of what led me to hypothesis. So I was teaching it in a hybridized manner. Um, so we were meeting maybe once a month in person, but the most, for the most part, we were going to be online. And I knew that it was going to be critical for us to develop cohesiveness as a community if we were going to be able to have these difficult conversations that needed to be had in terms of race, power, and privilege. And I was actually blown away um, with how the class gelled and how they were able to uh, build community and, and form those relationships at a distance. Um, and I, I certainly attribute um, hypothesis to a large portion of that. Um, and so I wanted to um, use it again in my spring course. So in my spring course, I taught um, a fully asynchronous online course, um, the art and science of teaching nursing. And it was actually the first time I taught a completely asynchronous on, online course. And again, the need to have community be a critical, like being intentional about community when people were distant. I mean, you have graduate nurses, they're working in the hospital, incredibly stressed with the things that they're seeing. So how do I build a support and a communal atmosphere while we're still separated? Um, and Hypothesis, again, came to the rescue. Um, and many of the students were actually educators themselves. And so they were like, I'm gonna use this in my class. Um, and so I'll, I'll share later, but I asked them, what was it about hypothesis? Um, and they had some really insightful things to share about what was so meaningful um, and why it was better than a discussion board. 